Okay, this is a message to Sergei Titov, if that's how you pronounce your name. If it's not, I'm sorry. You, sir, are a legend. And, and I, I'm afraid that you don't understand that. We have a problem today in, in gaming where people just don't really know what a good game is. And when you released War Z, everybody felt obligated to hate on that game even though they didn't know anything about it because it was so closely resembling Daisy and and Daisy was everybody's like best friend at the time even though that Sergei Titov you you made a game a thousand times better than than Dean Rocket Hall War Z is was one of the best games I've ever played I'm 31 years old I I look at all the games on my Steam library I've got 1611 games and I could safely say that War Z for the first few years was the best multiplayer online open world game I ever played and if you look at the numbers there was actually an article on GameSpot because the, like I said the industry felt obligated to hate on this game and I did too uh, let me explain something like I didn't really understand War Z either. I didn't know what it was. So I would just talk crap about it like everybody else, not knowing what it was. And then one time it was $3 on sale on Steam. So I, I bought it. And I just wanted to see how terrible of a game it was. Because everybody said how bad it was. I couldn't have been more wrong. War Z was the best game I ever played in my life. And... There was an article, I remember GameSpot released a video, and it was that girl, Ugh, I forget her name, but she was like, you know that, she said, you know that crap game War Z? She's like, there's actually a million active players, and they're like, and she's like, people actually like that piece of crap, and despite, they're all wrong, everyone's all completely 100% wrong about, about War Z, completely wrong, they were all wrong. And when I played it for the first time, I was like, holy shit. The frame rate was perfect. The open world was seamless. There was like 80 guns, dude. You could... Uh, the, the hit registration was perfect. I remember... Uh, dude, Sergey, if you play DayZ or something, the servers have to be restarted every three hours, every hour. It, it's, it's so cancerous. Man... St every day of my life I think about like a memory I had in War Z or like the lock boxes and running around the towns picking up loot and stuff I th you you succeeded you were successful what happened to that what happened to War Z there was I remember there was the servers were awful what happened to War Z it started going downhill the moment you lost competence in yourself. You listened to the fucking troll. You listened to Artemis Knives. And Artemis Knives doesn't know his ass from his elbow when it comes to gaming. Remember when you guys did the Colorado... Um, you did like a Colorado 2.0 and it was like the graphics. You increased the textures. You increased... You made the game... The game looked gorgeous. In fact, I have screenshots of that version of the game. But that guy, but that guy Artemis Knives, I remember there was an update that completely removed all the enhanced colors and I was like, what the heck happened to the enhanced colors? So I so I went on um Artemis Knives stream cuz all he did was stream cuz his his only priority was was being cool, being a cool guy. So he would just stream and I asked him I said, "Hey, how come the the enhanced colors I have been removed and he's just like oh that's to boost the frame rate dude colors that guy artemis knives thinks that colors thinks that's the color gamut affects frame rate Th that's that should say enough that that guy doesn't know what he's talking about that guy's a moron and all the changes that he proposed to the game were wrong just completely wrong the game went downhill from there sergey I, you're one of those people I wish I could just choke because I, I, I want you to know how fucking good of a game you made. Like, I just, 
I want you to be confident in yourself. That game was insanely good. Like, everything about it was good. Everything. The, the, the frame rate, the optimization, the open world was seamless. The servers didn't need to be restarted. Dude, PUBG, all these new games arc, they, they can't do that. They, they can't do it. And, and people were starting to realize War Z is a good game. And I, I feel like if it was named something else from the start, then it would st we'd still be playing it right now. It, it, would, it would have millions of, of players. It's just the naming of the War Z kind of started this perfect storm of, of people thinking they have the right to hate it because they thought they knew what it was before they even tried it. They, they're like, oh, look at this. Look at this Days clone. Dude, DayZ has nothing on War Z. Infestation Survivor Stories. The game nowadays is not good anymore. There's a guy, I don't know his name. Um, the New Z. Wait a minute, what is this? Infestation Survivor Stories 2020. What is that? Oh, mostly negative. So this is the original product. Look at this. 25,598 reviews. Dude. Dude, come on, man. This game was a success. And the thing is, you're changing things, trying to make all these new games and stuff, when you don't realize... Okay, let's look at Steam charts. Let's look at games... Oh, I want to show you that picture, too. I want to show you that picture as well. Of the really good War Z screenshots. Okay, look. Counter-Strike, Global Offense, Dota, PUBG, Apex Legends, New World. It's, it's all the same games. Like, you don't need to make new games all the time. Like, War Z was good, man. If you could just re release that old version, I'll, I'll tell you when the game was at its peak. I will show you. Okay, here's some screenshots I took of War Z. After the... Um, this is... I think it was Colorado 2.0. But you guys... There was this update where you guys increased the textures and everything. And, and, and War Z ran so good. I, I was getting like 300 FPS. And for some reason, this is where things started to go wrong. You listened to the fucking poor people with shitty computers. And you actually reduced the graphics to make their frame, ra frame rates better. Dude, why did you do that? Like, do you think games like Crisis are popular because they they focus on performance no it's just I, i'm just so upset that just a series of unfortunate events where you decided to change the game for the for the f vocal minority that had shitty computers this is what the game looked like at one point still to this day PUBG doesn't look this good here let me go to a direct look at this game Look, it looks like CryEngine. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. One of the prettiest games I've ever seen in my life. And it ran smooth too. But then, for some reason, without even as much as a patch note, you removed all of that. You, you, you replaced the ground texture with a low-res version again. And then you started listening to Artemis Knives. And then the game just died. It just it just breaks my heart. And I, and, and I read an article about you working on another game. Don't do that, dude. Bring infestation back, bro. I'll help you, bro. We can do this shit. People just... If you just brought War Z back to the old way it used to be, it would have all the same amount of players again. Like, dude, we remember how good that game was. There, there was hundreds of thousands of players. Like, we remember. Like, people talked shit about it, and they felt obligated to hate it, but that game was good, man. That game was a good fucking game. And you, my friend, are a good man. You listen to what everybody says and to the to the point uh, where it's a fault. Because people didn't like the, the cash shop. And they're like, oh, we don't want to pay to win. We don't want to cash shop. And, and what did you do? You made it so that we could buy anything from the cash shop with money. You are, are a saint. Like, everything everybody said about you is completely 100% wrong. 100%. Okay? You are a fucking legend, dude. You've made, I would say, 
my favorite game of all time. And I, I have no fucking, I had no reason to like lie or make that up. Like for, in, in fact, for me to say like wars, Hey guys, you're all wrong. War Z is a great game. I would be made fun of and stuff. But like the people, every single friend I said, Hey, try this game with me. They started playing the game. It is impossible to play that game and not like it. But nowadays, it's it's sad. It, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. There, it doesn't exist anymore. I, I I would I would have played that game, man, for thirty years, dude. Like, what the fuck happened, bro? You got. I I really hope you still have the files somewhere, because if if you really, I think you could do this, man. I think you could bring back War Z. I, th- dude, it shits on Daisy. It shits on Daisy, dude. Like, I just wish you knew how fucking awesome you were, man. I really do. Sergey, come on, buddy. Stop listening to these fucking kids. Dude, you're the only one smart enough to know how to do this shit. You're the only one smart and competent enough. We're all fucking trolls. Artemis Knives, why did you even listen to that fucking troll? That guy has... That guy made fun of you. That guy doesn't have your best interests at heart. That guy's a fucking cunt, dude. And he's honestly the reason why the game doesn't exist anymore. I, I, well, I, I don't really know. I don't, I, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what happened behind the scenes. But the game was a masterpiece at one point. What happened, man? Just, just what happened? Like, what was awesome about War Z was the guns, man. The, the all the different guns and their, the gun sounds. Oh my god! And and you could hear bullets in the woods. People firing at each other from miles away, dude. War Z was something I've never experienced before, man. And DayZ, it's like, it's it's clunky, man. War Z was fucking good, dude. It, man, let me try and think about the time. It was named War Z when I bought it. And then, like, probably less than a year later, it was changed to ISS. And it was still good when it was changed to ISS. When Colorado V2 first came out, it was good. But then there was just something happened, man. I don't know what it is. You tell me, man. The doubt. You probably listen to the haters and stuff. And, and like, I don't think you realize, like, your newer games that you're trying to make don't really have that same magic. Like, it, it like, the best games in the world, like, when, when guys tried, when, when developers tried to make sequels for it, they weren't exactly able to kept capture the lightning in the bottle. I think you need to fucking... You need to realize what you had here. War Z was such a good game, man. And you paid for all the servers, and, and, and you fucking... You didn't complain about it. You got new servers for fucking Australians. Dude, you, sir, deserve, an, deserve accommodations. I mean, commendations, I'm sorry. You, sir, are a legend. And I'm always going to remember you as a legend. And I really, I really, I really want to see you succeed, man. And and I think you already did it. You already did it. So for me to see you working on these other games, like, dude, I, you, you just don't understand. And sometimes it takes uh, somebody with an outside perspective to, you know, get, you, get your fucking brain flowing again. Like, I, I just want you to know how good of that game, how good that game was that you made. It was a masterpiece, sir. A masterpiece. And, and you need to, like, gamers don't understand, like, it's it's more about, like, popularity and, like, the developers, if the developers write nice tweets, like, CD Projekt Red, it's all bullshit, man, it's all bullshit, it, it's like, people just instantly judged you because the game name was War Z and they thought you were a scammer, and, and they didn't realize that War Z is the best game ever made, and it was just gameplay for the player, and, and, and no gay cutscenes, no fucking faggy shit like that. It, it was just such a good game, man. No, like, t- today games are like, oh, oh, the characters are, people complain, oh, the characters aren't relatable, oh, the lips don't match up to the audio. Those people aren't real gamers. Those are, are nerds that don't know anything. And, and you, sir, Oh, you get it, man. You're you're the guy, dude. You're the guy, man. Come on. You're the legend. Bring back War Z, man. Let, call me up. Hire me. We'll fucking... We'll look over the files. We'll determine 
when the game was at its finest point. And we'll bring it back. We'll we'll call it like fucking we'll call it like the return or something. I don't know, there's probably already a game named that. But like we could figure this out, man. We could figure this out. I, I think we could do it, man. Let me know. Let me know. If you want somebody that'll fucking that wants the same thing as you do let me know uh, you don't fuck artemis knives dude that guy does not have your best interests at heart he has no idea the fucking legend that you are i i just war z is one of those games that just means the world to me man it really does one of the best games i ever played i i wish i could play it right now i'd, I'd still be playing it every day it's such a good game and the new guy Fred Frediakis Fredakis that guy's that guy's weird man that guy's he's talented but like he doesn't know what wars was and and I do I know what it was and I know what people wanted and even though people talk shit the numbers were there dude the numbers don't lie and you fucking had it you had it what happened man what happened i love you sergey i fucking love you man